हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कार पियर्सन कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ को रिलेशन दिस इज अ मैथमेटिकल मेथड फॉर मेजरिंग को रिलेशन It is also known as quantitative method of measuring correlation between two variables. It has been given by Carl Pearson, so it is known as Pearson's coefficient of correlation, and it is denoted by the symbol. This formula is based on the concept of covariance so let us discuss covariance first if the variable x takes the values of x1 x2 x3 up to xn and another variable y takes the values of y1 y2 y3 up to yn then the covariance between the two variables x and y is given by covariance of xy is equal to x1 minus x bar into y1 minus y bar plus x2 minus x bar into y2 minus y bar plus and so on up to xn minus x bar into yn minus y bar whole upon m the x bar and y bar denotes the arithmetic means of the two series that is x bar is given by x1 plus x2 plus and so on up to xm whole upon n and y bar is equal to y1 plus y2 plus and so on up to yn whole upon n that is covariance of xy can also be written as 1 by n into summation of xi minus x bar into yi minus y bar where i goes from 1 to n or covariance of xy can also be written as 1 by n into summation of dx into dy where dx is equal to xi minus x bar and dy is equal to 
वाई आई माइनस वाई बार वेन वी डिवाइड को वेरियंस बाई दी प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन द क्वेश्चन ऑफ पेंट इज कॉल्ड द को रिलेशन क्वेफिशियंट दे आर फोर कार्ल पियर्सन क्वेफिशियंट ऑफ को रिलेशन डिनोटेड बाई आर और रो ऑफ एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू को वेरियंस ऑफ एक्स वाई अपॉन सिग्मा एक्स इंटू सिग्मा वाई and we know that covariance of xy can be written as summation of dx into dy by m upon sigma x into sigma y which is equal to summation of dx into dy upon n into sigma x into sigma y since we know that the value of sigma x is equal to square root of summation of dx square by m and the value of sigma y is equal to square root of summation of dy square by m therefore carl pearson's coefficient of correlation r or rho of xy is equal to summation of dx into dy by m into square root of summation of dx square by m into square root of summation of dy square by m which is equal to summation of dx into dy upon square root of summation of dx square into summation of dy square where dx is equal to xi minus x bar and dy is equal to yi minus y bar are the deviations taken from the actual mean This formula is called first formula. It is also called product moment method, as it is based on summation of dx into dy by m, that is, product of the deviation of the observations from the mean. This method is useful when arithmetic means are in whole numbers or integers, and the coefficient of correlation are. lies from minus 1 to plus 1 now we are going to discuss second formula for coefficient of correlation r without using deviations from mean that is by directly using the values of xi and yi as we know that summation of xi minus x bar the whole square is equal to summation of xi square minus twice of xi into x bar plus x bar square which is equal to summation of xi square minus twice of x bar into summation of xi plus n times x bar square which is equal to summation of x i square minus 2 into x bar and x bar can be written as summation of x i by n into summation of x i plus n times x bar square which is equal to n into summation of x i by n d y square which is equal to summation of xi square minus twice of 
the notion of x i square by n plus n into the notion of x i square by n square which is equal to summation of x i square minus twice of summation of x i b whole square by n plus summation of x i b whole square by n which is equal to summation of x i square minus of summation of x i b whole square by n so the value of summation of x i minus x bar the whole square is equal to summation of x i square minus summation of x i b whole square by n similarly summation of y i minus y bar the whole square is equal to summation of y i square minus of summation of y i b whole square by n therefore summation of x i minus x bar into y i minus y bar is equal to summation of x i into y i minus of x i into y bar minus of y i into x bar plus x bar into y bar which is equal to summation of x i into y i minus of y bar into summation of x i minus of x bar into summation of y i plus summation of x bar into y bar which is equal to n times x bar into y bar as we know that x bar is equal to summation of x i by n which implies that summation of x i is equal to n into x bar and y bar is equal to summation of y i by n which implies that summation of y i is equal to n into y bar so we have summation of x i into y i minus of y bar into summation of x i which is equal to n into x bar minus of x bar into summation of y i which is equal to n into y bar plus n into x bar into y bar which is equal to summation of x i into y i minus of 2 into n into x bar into y bar plus n into x bar into y bar which is equal to summation of x i into y i minus of n into x bar into y bar which is equal to summation of x i into y i minus of n into x bar which is equal to summation of x i by n into y bar which is equal to summation of y i by n so the value of summation of x i minus x bar into y i minus y bar is equal to summation of x i into y i minus of summation of x i into summation of y i by n so i goes from 1 to n and we know that carl pearson's coefficient of correlation r is given by summation of dx into dy upon square root of summation of dx square into summation of dy square where dx is given by xi minus x bar and dy is given by yi minus y bar therefore carl pearson's coefficient of correlation r or rho of xy is given by summation of xi minus x bar into yi minus y bar where i goes from 1 to n whole upon square root of summation of xi minus x bar the whole square where i goes from 1 to n into square root of summation of yi minus y bar the whole square where i goes from 1 to n now we know that summation of xi minus x bar into yi minus y bar is equal to summation of xi into yi minus of summation of xi into summation of yi by n 
also summation of xi minus x by the whole square is given by summation of xi square minus summation of xi the whole square by n and summation of y i minus y by the whole square is equal to summation of y i square minus summation of y i the whole square by n. After substituting all these values in the above formula, we get the Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation R or z of x y is given by summation of x i into y i minus of summation of x i into summation of y i by n whole upon square root of summation of x i square minus summation of x i the whole square by n into square root of summation of y i square minus summation of y i the whole square by n Simply we can write it as R or rho of x y is equal to summation of x into y minus of summation of x into summation of y by m whole upon square root of summation of x square minus of summation of x the whole square by m into square root of summation of y square minus of summation of y the whole square by m where x and y stand for the values of items in x and y series and n is the number of observations. Now we shall discuss how to calculate coefficient of correlation when the deviations are taken from an assumed mean if the values of x i's and y i's are large or involve fraction or arithmetic mean is in fractions Here, the computation of the correlation coefficient can be simplified by considering the deviations UI and VI of the values of XI and YI that is from the assumed means A and B respectively For the values of x and y that is if ui is equal to xi minus a and vi is equal to yi minus b then rho of xy which is given by summation of xi into yi minus of summation of xi into summation of yi by n whole upon square root of summation of xi square minus of summation of xi the whole square by n into square root of summation of yi square minus of summation of yi the whole square by n 
ui is equal to xi minus a implies that the value of xi is equal to ui plus a. Similarly, vi is equal to yi minus b implies that the value of yi is equal to vi plus b. Now substituting the values of xi and yi in this formula we get now we know that xi is equal to ui plus a and yi is equal to vi plus b. Therefore, summation of xi into vi is equal to summation of ui plus a into vi plus b which is equal to summation of ui into vi plus b into ui plus a into vi plus a into b which is equal to summation of ui into vi plus b into summation of ui plus A into summation of VI plus summation of AB which is equal to N into AB. Also we have summation of XI into summation of YI which is equal to summation of UI plus A into summation of VI plus B which is equal to summation of UI plus summation of A that is N into A into summation of VI plus summation of B which is equal to N into B. Therefore, we get summation of ui into vi plus n into b into summation of ui plus n into a into summation of vi plus n square into a into b. So, the value of summation of xi into summation of yi by n is equal to summation of ui into vi by n plus b into summation of ui plus a into summation of vi plus n into a into b. Therefore, the value of the expression summation of xi into yi minus summation of xi into summation of yi by n is equal to summation of ui into vi minus of summation of ui into vi by n. And similarly, we can find the value of the expression square root of summation of xi square minus summation of xi whole square by n into square root of summation of yi square minus summation of yi the whole square by n and hence we get the value of rho of uv as summation of ui into vi where i goes from 1 to n minus of 1 by n into summation of ui where i goes from 1 to n into summation of vi where i goes from 1 to n whole upon square root of summation of ui square where i goes from 1 to n minus of 1 by n into summation of ui the whole square where i goes from 1 to n into square root of summation of vi square where i goes from 1 to n minus of 1 by n into summation of vi the whole square where i goes from 1 to n which can also be written as rho of uv is equal to summation of u into v minus of summation of u into summation of v by n whole upon square root of summation of u square minus summation of u the whole square by n into square root of summation of v square minus of summation of v the whole square by n where u is equal to x minus a and v is equal to y minus b where a and b are the assumed means and n is the number of observations this completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.